Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to install Windows XP Media Center Edition in VirtualBox. Um, this is a video requested um, by multiple viewers, and it's been a long time since I've uploaded, almost a month, so I very much apologize for that. So, And if my mic audio sounds a little bit different, um, it's because my audio enhancer program is not working properly. Hopefully I can fix that, but I'm just using the base quality of the Blue Yeti Snowball, so hopefully it sounds okay, but um, this is a voiceover because of the problems I was having. So you're going to need two things. You're going to need VirtualBox or VMware. Links will be in the description, and also the ISO for Windows Media Center. Um, Windows XP Media Center Edition is also in the description with no product key. Um, the password is in the bottom right of the video. So you're going to want to open up one of those two programs and name your virtual machine whatever you want and then select Windows XP either it's 32 or 64 bit but I recommend doing 64 bit and then next you're going to want to um, choose the amount of RAM you want. The recommended is 512 megabytes um, but instead I put uh, one gigabyte and then you're going to want to create your virtual hard drive basic stuff right there and then you're going to want to go ahead and go to the settings of the machine go ahead and hit storage hit the empty disk and then you're going to have to choose for your file but mine's already listed there but just find it it should be in your downloads folder or it could be on your desktop wherever you saved it just put it in there hit ok and then go ahead and start up the machine and it'll load up the machine and it'll look like just the basic any old Windows XP setup here and it'll go through all of the uh, running up of the files here and um, it's gonna load everything and it'll say setup is starting Windows normal Windows XP stuff and then the first screen you should see is a screen hopefully about your hard drive uh, that you will select and there should only be one option because you only have one quote unquote hard drive in this machine so there it is right there 10,000 megabytes because it's 10 gigs you want to click that and then you want to format it with the NTFS file system quick and then you hit enter on that and then it'll format your drive which should not take too long and then it will go through the process of copying over files. It'll also do a quick disk check. Um, but then now it'll start copying files over to your uh, drive. So you're just going to have to let that sit. And then you'll get, after the copying files is finished, we'll skip ahead. You're going to get to the um, please wait while setup initializes your configuration. And then you're going to hit the first restart point um, of your virtual machine um, but in this segment of the video of this uh, whole video of this segment here um, I actually made a mistake um, there was a part of the setup where I took out the disk thinking um, I didn't want to have that little message you know that says press any key to boot from CD to pop up anymore now it's going to restart, um, but you'll see when it restarts, you'll see it pop up right here. It'll say, press any key. Don't do that, but leave your disk in. Do not take it out like I did because you need to have it in specifically for this video. You'll see why because when it loads up um, into the what they call the GUI interface part of the setup, you're going to first get an error message right here and I thought it was just random so I just hit it okay a couple times thinking it was alright and then I was gonna be on my way with the setup right wrong uh, it says insert disk I needed to have like a service pack 3 disk and I kept getting errors and it made me restart my machine then what I did was I went down back to my CD and I reinserted the Windows XP Media Center Edition ISO and then the setup worked just fine. It had to restart it back up though, but no error messages came up. So that's why you need to leave the disk in the virtual machine. Otherwise you will keep getting that error and it will just be a constant loop. So then you're just gonna have to wait until the first 
uh, window will pop up here. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead in the video to that. It'll pop up right there. Um, it'll say when there's about 33 minutes, it'll still pop up. It's your language and keyboard layout. You'll hit next. And now you're going to type in a username and hit next. And this is going to be the part where you name your computer. Or, and you can possibly type in an administrator password if you need to. Go ahead and hit next after you're finished. And then it will ask for your time zone. Just choose the specific one that uh, fits your needs and confirm that the time and date is correct. And now it's just going to go through installing a bunch of drivers and uh, copying a ton of files over. And this can take some time. It took, uh, I think, maybe a good what was it like 20 minutes maybe 30 minutes almost I missed the restart point a couple of minutes before um, but the second restart point you um, again do not want to hit press any key to boot from CD or DVD it'll ask to do a screen resolution check hit OK and then it'll say uh, if you can see this hit OK and then it will say please wait directly in the middle there and you should be able to hear audio it is muted for me because this is a voiceover but you should be able to hear audio the audio driver should be installed automatically and um, now it'll say welcome to Microsoft Windows thank you for purchasing Windows XP let's take some time and setting up your computer I think it says something like that let's spend a few minutes setting up your computer so you're just gonna hit next you can hit either one of these options I just hit the recommended option of installing automatic updates even though this is a way outdated OS you'll hit next and now you're gonna uh, enter into your username for the computer hit next and you're all done uh, it says thank you and then you go ahead and hit done and then it'll be black for just a minute but then it should be getting to the point you'll get a welcome screen and it'll hear the you'll hear their log on sound about now and then um, it'll go through a process of setting up Windows Media Center um, and all the specific files for this so you'll see the welcome screen here and then you should see your desktop now uh, a fact about the desktop is that it does not have the regular Windows XP background which is called bliss that's the background um, it's not going to have the exact background as you can see there it looks like that hill the green hill there looks the same um, but I could be wrong on that that hill does look at the same as the bliss picture just that there's not as much clouds and it's a little bit of a different picture I don't know if this was taken at the same location or not I'm not too sure but You'll see that uh, it'll have a little personalized settings window. It's just going to go through some setting up of your computer. And uh, you'll just kind of have to let it sit and go through that. And then after a while, you will see um, your username pop up in the start menu coming up right here. Um, mine is uh, everything EPAN. And that means you have fully installed Windows XP Media Center Edition onto your computer and to confirm that you can go to the start button on the bottom left right click my computer and hit properties and it will show you that you have Microsoft Windows XP Media Center Editions version 2002 service pack 4 so it's confirmed that this is Windows Media Center Edition so as you can see I was messing around with the Windows Media Center but um, this is just this takes some messing around with you can mess it around with it with your um, mess around yourself um, but that is how to install uh, Windows Media Center uh, I made the mistake last time Windows XP Media Center edition in VirtualBox or VMware thank you guys for watching make sure to like the video if this helped you out comment below ideas and um, what uh, tutorials or anything you want me to do um, also subscribe for more videos and we're nearing uh, 1300 subscribers this channel is growing so much more than I expected it to um, and um, just the amount of positive feedback I've been getting from new viewers and new subscribers is amazing that just means everybody's doing their job and helping people out by sharing videos and helping these people out and installing these programs in VirtualBox and all that good stuff and VMware um, so hopefully within the week, maybe, or so, I can get a Madden video out for you guys. I'm planning on doing a new series 
for Madden. Uh, it's not draft champions or ultimate team or connected franchise or even the new salary cap uh, game mode. It's something different that I don't know if anybody's done before. It's kind of a weird game mode. I don't know if a lot of people will be interested, but it's kind of just something I'd like to do. I've done it a couple times when I haven't been recording it or whatever, but I think it's a new idea I kind of want to try. But uh, we'll just kind of got gonna kind of go from there. But um, so thank you guys for watching this video. Go! Don't forget to subscribe. Um, become one of the subscribers, and you'll no be notified of when I upload a video each time. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.